United States Senator. Everything's gonna be all right. We're here for you, Senator, but we need to move fast. No! No! This... It's all wrong. They weren't supposed to send anybody. That was the whole point. Hmm. I had a feeling this was a setup. I shouldn't have come here. To what purpose? I have no clue. But I just had a feeling when they were watching the video of the senator being taken. I just felt like that was a setup of some sort. Oh no, she's got a new obsession. <laughs> Pulls it through and through. I ain't gonna die. Things to be sure. You see his brother's name on there? Yeah. Still gonna patch me up. So, right. Okay, take it back. I think I do want to die. Mockingbird, this is Harbinger <laughs> on emergency frequency Delta. Well, actually, they're not terrorists. They're mercenaries. They work for me. Why would you do that? Because I love my country. And my country loves a hero. So this is all theater? So you can what, run for president? There it is. The big picture. Can you imagine what my poll numbers will be once I heroically defuse this tragic situation? Everybody here was supposed to go home alive. That was the whole point. You have turned my hostages into witnesses, and I can't have that. I'm gonna kill you slow, you son of a bitch. You're outgunned and outnumbered. But if it's any consolation, I am gonna nominate the four of you for the Medal of Honor once I'm president. Arrow. Super suit? I prefer the Atom. I didn't kill those people. Yeah, that's what Felicity said. An impersonator, right? Felicity told you the truth, and you should trust her judgment. How can I do that? Her perception of you is clearly clouded by her emotional attachment. She's not seeing you for what you really are. You have no idea what this city is up against. Actually, I think I do. And I'm gonna stop him. They've rigged the hospital with explosive charges. Killing all the hostages. We create the lone survivor. How does he explain we that? They accepted the mission, Lila. We did what soldiers do. Except we're not just soldiers, Johnny. We're parents. I know parents who won't even fly together because they don't want to risk orphaning their child. Lawton was right. Can you please say that again? Sorry, yeah, yeah. I didn't quite hear you the first time. We're not gonna make it. Yeah. Yes, we are. We're gonna get these hostages out. And you and John are gonna make it home to your daughter again. An organization in need of your very particular talent. Talent? <laughs> Killing people, you mean? And we will pay handsomely for the use of those skills. Who are you? Merely a drone. We exist as one organism. As you might say, a hive. Well, listen up, honeybee. I'm no. done shooting. A hive is who had one and Andrew killed, right? People like you don't get to have love. Children, families. These are just distractions to people like you. For people like you, love is a bullet in the brain. Who's my target? His name is Andrew Diggle. Not only is he untrained, he's unstable. Unstable? Yeah, yes, yeah, he's unstable. He's a little unstable right he's now. He's flying around in a weapon looking for a man that has already killed eight people. He's gonna be next. You would like that, wouldn't you? Ooh, listen, me. out of line, out of line. You never wanted me to be with him. That's not true. Yes, it is. All that talk about wanting me to be happy was just talk. No, I meant what I said. Right up to the point where I found out that he is just like me. You deserve better. What I deserve is to be with someone who isn't afraid of being happy. But Ray told me he wanted a true partner in his work, in his mission, and in his life. Ray wants to be a hero and a human being. Yes, because he hasn't realized yet that he can't be. I told you that I couldn't be with you and save the city. Neither can Ray. He's just too new at this to know that. 
He set it up. That must be disappointing. I'm sorry there's no one around here for you to kill, but uh, I kind of faked that 911 call. I'd say you have the right to remain silent, but I'm not a cop. So what? It's okay for you to kill, but it's not okay for them to? told you to back off and you didn't listen so kill me go ahead sure felicity the kind of man you really are i have nothing to prove to her but you do she chose you so trust her is, Ra is roy okay Or I flip this switch and I blow us all right to hell, right now. You die right along with us. I want to be president for my legacy. Dying a hero is as good a consolation prize as any. But you are true to your name if you think that the three of you can just shoot your way in here. Where's the uh, where's the dead shot? Wait, there were four of you. There you go. I was about to say, shoot his freaking hand. Or the device, anyway. All right, what about you, baby? How are you getting out? I'm not. Lord, what are you talking about? That wasn't part of the plan. You said you could find your way down. Yeah, I lied. Someone needs to cover your escape. Me up here is what gets you out down there alive. Why? And your new wife, you just get back to your baby girl, all right, John? I don't want that child to die. Come on, Floyd. I want to see a body. I never, I don't believe that unless I see the body, okay? I'd be stupid to believe that he oh, died yeah. just because there was an explosion. I think I'm the one who owes you an apology. You told me Oliver was innocent and I didn't trust you. I want you to know that I do. About what you said earlier. About wanting a true partner. Is that off or still good? Yeah. Once I make an offer, He paid the hostages for their silence. Yeah, well, the dollar goes a long way in Cosnia, right? I'm leaving Team Arrow. What? Lawton was right. I can't keep living like this. What about this city? The work you and Oliver do, it's good work. Not like what I've been doing for far too long. I resigned. <sighs> Myla, no, you love your job and you're damn good at it. No, if what happened with Craig can be allowed to stand, I don't want to be good at it. What I want is to set a good example for our daughter. Is Waller gonna let you I'm leave, gonna though? proud of me. Ray has a meeting with the mayor. Seems he's had a change of heart about the arrow. Oh. Thanks. For what? Proving me right. You're right, Oliver. Doing what we do, having loved ones at home, is complicated. Well, the things that matter always are. To Floyd Lawton. Approach Nelson. Where we have to stop this guy before he puts arrows in any more criminals. Or before he starts putting them in innocent people. I believe he's being framed. We need to address the media right away. But tell him what, some rich genius just changed his mind? Captain, I think you're letting your personal feelings towards the arrow cloud your judgment. Maybe I'm seeing things more clearly than I have for the last few years. All right, enough. Both of you. I am tired of listening. <laughs> Why is he killing the mayor? Well, I know why he's doing it, but Jesus. Better not.
Okay, I will say right now that I did not expect the Maseo to be on the other end. I thought it was just another one of the people or Roz himself. Roz has probably already left. He probably went back home. Um, but I swear to God, I heard that Arrow release, and if he shot Felicity, I'm gonna be pissed. I'm already mad at him for just killing the mayor for no reason. It's so dumb. The reason's dumb. It's it's just like it's on the verge of being the stupid uh whatever the hell his name is, Deathstroke storyline right now. And it's really pissing me off. Um. Okay. Alright, as far as the episode goes, I don't believe that Deadshot is dead. I didn't see a body. I don't care what the news said. I don't care what Lila and them said. Um, until I see his body, I'm not going to believe he's dead. He's going to pop up some later date. Maybe. Um, but if he is dead, that sucks. And it was kind of nice to see his background a little bit to see why he turned into who he did. And I mean, he didn't really explain it. It just, it did the, he came back from war. He wasn't the same. He um, wasn't dealing with it very well, the things that he had to do, which I know is a real thing. Um, and he turned violent and his wife put a restraining order on him, which I don't blame her for. If my husband pulled a gun out on me or my children, um, we'd be gone too. Regardless of the reason why, so we saw that background. He was approached by someone who was part of the hive, um, which when I hear hive, all I'm thinking about is Resident Evil. So <laughs> I don't. That's just what pops in my head when I hear that word. Um, so he was paid to kill. Diggle's brother, Andrew, which we already knew because he told Diggle this, I think it was season two, maybe, that uh, someone called the Hive hired him. Still don't know why, like why they wanted him dead, but we do know who wanted him dead, sort of. I mean, we don't really know who the Hive is, but anyway. We also had Cupid in this episode, still crazy, but she's turned her obsession over to Deadshot, who may be dead, so maybe she has no obsession now, or maybe she's going back to Oliver, who knows. Um, I think that the fight with between Felicity and Oliver was, like, I thought Felicity was out of line, but I also think Oliver was out of line with, you know, he can't be a hero and have a relationship i think that's bull on like all levels like even oliver i think can have a relationship even and still try to save the city yeah it's a risk but so what you know why be alone you at least try to be happy um so i thought that was bull on his part i thought it was bull on her part when she's like oh you'd like that wouldn't you like if he died uh if ray died so yeah, that was way over the line. So I did not agree with that at all. Um, that she thought that he would be happy if Ray died, you know, because he didn't want her to be with him. It's like, pff, okay. Um, I mean, I love Felicity, but that doesn't mean that I like I'm on her side all the time. I'm not. So yeah, was not on her side with that statement. Um. So, I mean, at least, you know, first Ray was, like, really annoying with, uh, oh, the arrow's evil, blah, blah, blah. Just like Lance is back to being annoying. Um, just like he was in season one. I I hated his character. 
in season one and um, in the first part of it. I can't remember how long I didn't like him. I can't remember when he started being not all about trying to take down the arrow. But um, yeah, he, I remember I just didn't like him at all. And then he grew on me and got better. And now he's back to being the annoying guy that he was in season one. And uh, yeah, so I hope he gets over this very soon. And so, but yeah, so there's one other person that knows about Oliver's identity. Um, he knows about Laurel being the Black Canary and that Felicity helps the Arrow. So yeah, so I wonder if he's going to be included in some of the things that they do now. Um, so I don't know, but, uh, I mean, I didn't see Roy after the fight with Ray. Um, I hope he's okay. I'm assuming he is. I mean, he got electrocuted <laughs> and then it just kind of just went on didn't show that he was fine we didn't see him at all i believe but I, I i'm sure he's okay otherwise there would have been some big thing about it probably um but yeah so i don't know anyway i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction if you did please give this video a like if you have any suggestions and anything you'd like me to react to please leave that down below and i will see you guys in the next one bye